Hello everybody, welcome into Studio 3. I'm Alex Weaver here with Zach, Jessica, and Jonathan from NASCAR.com. Let's preview the 2019 season and we're going to saddle up with Ford because they have some exciting news coming from their camp. They're going to have the Mustang in this 2019 season. They had seven different winners last year and they had the championship all for that blue oval. What's the outlook for that camp? I think the outlook's great for that camp. They are bringing the Mustang to the Cup Series this year. I asked Kevin Harvick earlier this year if he was worried about any kind of performance loss like we saw with the Camaro last year. They struggled early on in the Chevy camp. He said they didn't change things to go slower. I think the uh, combination of that with the 2019 Aero Package, I think it's going to equalize things. I think Ford picks up where they left off. I think like Merriman said, if we see any sort of growing pains from the Ford camp, which is the Mustang, it's going to be very, very minimal and very, very short-lived. I mean, the only reason I see maybe a slight growing pains, maybe the first couple races, is with the Aero Package. The dominance they had in 2018, you just can't argue with that. And I don't see any reason that they don't go back out there and dominate again in 2019. You look at the Ford camp and they have such a, a talented driver roster from top to bottom. A lot of that talent is going to carry the day if there are any struggles with that type of thing. Now, Kevin Harvick had the most wins last year, but Joey Logano took home the championship. Who is going to be the most successful driver for Ford this season? I think Brad Keselowski is going to be your guy. And it's a two-part answer. I think he has a lot of raw talent, and I think that there are going to be strategy plays that come along with this 2019 rules package that we haven't thought of yet. Fuel mileage, they're going to be drafting a lot more with this thing. So Paul Wolf, he's a genius when it comes to taking chances, taking risks. So I think the combination of everything kind of circled around Brad Keselowski right now has him as the favorite. You talk about strategy with crew chiefs and strong crew chiefs. How can you not talk about Rodney Childers, the number four team, and Kevin Harvick? You know, Kevin Harvick wasn't testing at Las Vegas for the rules package, but Rodney Childers was there with Clint Boyer and the number 14 team. So I think that team has got to be disappointed with the way they finished last year. They were so dominant and weren't able to get that championship for their team. That's only going to get a fire for them, and I think they're going to come out swinging this year. I like the way you guys are thinking because anybody in the Stuart Haas camp or in Team Penske, those are the teams that are best equipped to really come out and pick up on the new rules package. But if I'm looking at one driver, one pick that you have to hold me down to, I think it's going to be Joey Logano. I think the momentum that they had from winning that championship season, I don't think they're going to be resting on their laurels. The momentum is definitely in Ford's favor, and we will see if that momentum continues in the Daytona 500 for Ford on February 17th. 2.30 p.m. on.